let us now discuss types of formal arguments there are three different types of formal argument first is positional argument or required argument second is default argument third is keyword argument we will discuss these three things one by one first we will see what is positional or required argument when the function call statement matches the number and order of argument number and order of argument as defined in the function definition this is called positional argument since you can see this example our function definition takes one argument and in our function call i am giving that argument here in place of x there must be some value so this is our function call and we are passing this 10 here in a square so x will take the 10 and will compute the result but in this case we are taking one parameter here in a square and we are not passing any parameter in this case error will occur so now you know these are required argument if you don't pass it it will show the error that is why it is called required argument you can take n number of arguments and at the time of function call you have to pass those arguments serially so x will contain 10 y will 20 and z will 30 now you know what is positional argument all the arguments we have to pass by their position and all the arguments which are there are required if we don't pass it we will get the error now let us discuss what is second type of argument that is default argument for some cases if we don't know what we should pass as our value we pass only those values which we know for other values we can left those values for that case we have to create our function definition like that so that it can handle those default arguments here in this case i am not passing any argument it is taking x and y by default so we have to take x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 in our function declaration if we don't do this it will not take any argument by default for an example if you remember we learned print function where we used to pass separator and end these two are not compulsory if we don't pass it python takes these argument with their default value now the question for you is what is the default value of separator and end in python i hope it is clear to you what is default argument let us now discuss keyword argument for some cases we don't know the actual order of the argument in which we should pass the argument but we know the name of argument in this case there are two arguments name and age if we don't know the order of arguments but the name of arguments so at the time of function call we can assign the values to those 
arguments by their name that is why it is called keyworded argument if you can see here i am passing age before the name but at the function declaration i am taking name before the age so you can see age is here and name is here when we call this function age will go to the age and name will go to the name if i call this function like 15 comma mohak in that case 15 will assign to name and mohak will assign to age which is wrong that is why we have to call this function by their keyword argument i hope it is clear to you now the homework for you all is to answer this question this what is the output of this function this is your homework number two this is your homework number three what is the output of default argument function here and this is your homework number four i already have given homework number one to you and you have to find these three outputs and give the answer in google classroom i hope all the things are clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime thank you